One of the common questions that people ask in terms of reaching out for help or guidance or direction when you are grieving. Let's look at that for a moment. First of all, we were never meant to grieve and mourn in isolation. Never. We are wired to walk with one another. And so why, when the worst of the worst happens, why would that need not be as apparent? As a matter of fact, it is most apparent. However, we still live in a culture that believes that in the area of counseling, that something is fundamentally wrong with you and therefore you seek out a counselor, support group, however the help comes to you. Let me look at that for a moment with you. Nothing is wrong with you. In the 20 years that I've been counseling, I have only had to refer two people to other professionals that needed to deal with them in areas other than grief. Only two out of the hundreds that I've had the privilege of walking with. But I want you to understand that you need not be alone. There is nothing wrong with you to seek out a counselor, to seek out a support group, whether it's through your local funeral home or your local hospital, they would be the greatest resources in your area. It does not mean anything is wrong. It means that you are looking not only to be able to share your story with people of like loss, but also you are reaching out so that you can learn about the grief journey. You can learn about mourning. You can learn and apply to your own life with the help of others. What is it like to now maneuver into this culture that is not mourning friendly? So please, if you are needing, which you do, help, assistance, direction, please do not believe anything is wrong with you. There isn't. Your heart is broken. You go to a doctor because something's wrong. That's what physicians do. They identify what is wrong and they then bring their area of expertise to address it. In grief counseling, nothing is wrong. Your heart is broken and that's where we begin.